Hello everyone, this is Jindra, and here we have a game, WM. Welcome to Max Destruction, and uh, I do pretty good at this game. And right here, I'm fast forwarding it because I'm just trying to get the B flag so we can get the early lead, not die like three times in a row. And uh, yeah, so this game I'm using AK-47, er, AK and I'm using Lightweight Pro, Side of Hand Pro, and I'm pretty sure Ninja Pro. And I'm using the Dual Mag attachment on the AK-47. What that does is it basically doubles the ammo that you would normally have. Like, if you were using regular AK-47, just no attachments, then you would have, uh, I think, 30 for the regular clip, and then you'd have 90 extra bullets. But with the uh, Dual Mag attachment, you have 30 in the round or whatever already, Bravo. 30 in the gun, and then you have uh, uh, 150 ready to use. And I'm using the C4, uh, I don't know why, just to defend flags I guess. And uh, I think that's the only kill I get with the C4 this entire game, but uh, how to be good on any really ma like map at all is uh, just play to live rather than to play to get killed. Because if you're playing to live, then you're going to be running around, and when you see someone, if you know you're not going to kill them, you're going to be trying to get away rather than trying to kill, if that makes any sense. See, right there is the perfect example of playing to live rather than playing to kill. I knew that he was going to kill me, so I just run away, and I see those guys, and I know I have upper hand since I have cover, and they didn't, so I challenge, and I win the fight. And pretty soon here, I think I'm going to start capturing the C flag so I can make them spawn towards A. Plus, I'm still trying to go through all the prestiges, so I still need all those uh, XPs right there. See, I know he's shooting at me, so I just go prone, and then I knew he would run through this door. And there he is. Easy dog. And, uh, yeah, I'm not playing with a party in this game. Uh, normally, I only play with a party, like, during the night hours because that's the only time people are really on. But yeah. Uh, I don't even know why I pick up the sniper, because it's uh Well, not really. Snipers are a lot easier to use since they patched it. But when there's a blackbird, just uh, make sure you pre-fire. Pre-firing is like a gift from God. If you lose a gunfight and you pre-fire, then I don't know what to tell you. Like, like seriously, there's no way to lose a gunfight, unless you have terrible aim, which I sometimes have. It's all about how your reactions are. Like, you can be good at this game by, I don't know how to explain it, like, by setting up in power positions, but you have to be able to aim too, so the younger you are, the more likely you are going to be good at this game. I get a lot of lucky uh, saves, like right there the dogs just saved my life, and pretty soon yeah, you're going to see another save that just saved me, right there. I was easily going to die because I was still reloading and he had the upper hand because he knew exactly where I was and he jumped out. Yeah, so uh, I'm just sending the C flag right here. Making sure they don't take it, trying to get the points when they run over the C flag. For the uh, def defend point. Yeah. But right there, I knew I would kill him. I don't know why, but I just knew it. But make sure, whenever you're playing Black Ops, try to play to live. That's, like, I can't stress that enough. You're gonna be terrible if you just play to kill, because you're just, If you were playing to kill, you would've just ran in that room, that guy was behind a box, and you would've easily killed you. And, uh, right there, I took the capture over, or, what's it called? Took the capture and the death, rather than no capture and no death. Because, uh, I wanted to restart my kill streak, and I knew that I was already gonna get good. The capture right there. And I'm speeding up the chopper because I don't think people really like to watch it, but if you do, then it's still there. And it's not like I'm overplaying it. And whenever you get a uh, whenever you're using the eight, nine, eleven kill streak setup, make sure you save your blackbird for your next life if you're playing alone. That way you can use your own blackbird to build up your next kill streaks. And once you get the next blackbird, if it's near the end of the game, you can just call that in and get the other kill streaks super quickly. And yeah, I can't stress enough, just paying attention to your radar only when you have a blackbird. Like always keep an eye on it, but 
over stress looking at the blackbird or the radar when you have a blackbird and uh, right there I noticed he was right there easily killed him because he was camping not looking at me just pay attention to the air or the what the direction that the area the arrows are facing and you should easily just be able to pick them off because you can just uh, get it yeah right there super lucky but if you just pay attention to every like I don't know how to explain it. It's a motion, or direction, and where they're moving. Because if they're moving backward and they're facing at you, then that's not necessarily a time that you want to challenge because they know that you're there and they're probably going to hide next to something. But if they're, like, turned their back to you and there's no one else around them, you can easily just pick them off. So just pay attention to uh, the blackbird, direction that they're facing, where they are, everything. It helps, trust me. Right here, the game's over. We win 202 to 64. Uh, I can't read my score, but I got 65 kills, 4 deaths. I'm pretty sure that's 3 captures and only 2 defense. Have a good day.